If you've just joined us, we're talking about whether we have the right, we should have the right, the legal right, to be told if there's a sex offender moving into our neighborhood. I wonder whether passing a law such as you have described would prevent sex offenders from committing their act if they were afraid of the consequences. I asked that question earlier and the response I got was no because they're out of control, they can't control themselves and therefore it doesn't matter what the outcome will be. And you stated that Texas does castrate. Well, I know, well I castrate should, I should. only takes care of the sexual organs, it does not take care of other parts of the body. No, but there, first of all, I, I, just to be fair to the state of Texas, I don't want people to think that everywhere in Texas there's castration going on. There have been some. And what it does is it, lo it, ha it lowers the level of testosterone in the body. And they have found with the, I'm sure you know more about this than I do, Carol, but they have found with these sex offenders and these pedophiles that they're not as apt to go out and, 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 and repeat. And some of them really want to be castrated. Uh, and so, but it is something that, for most people really offends them and bothers them and that's why we don't see very much of it in North America. How many would you like to see that? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't uh, think it's a good enough deterrent, really. I want to talk to Wilfred for just a moment. Wilfred, when, when people got these postcards and, and you put the ad in the paper and you said that you were coming into the neighborhood, what was their reaction? And, and Leslie, I know you're there with your dad. I'd like to hear, and you live with your father. Yes, ma'am. Just, just tell us, um, how, how did people react to your moving into the neighborhood? I don't think they bake cookies or anything, though, Wilfred. Do I? C can you hear me OK? OK. Yeah, how did they react to you and Leslie moving into the neighborhood? Well, uh, nobody reacted to nothing. I mean, nobody told me nothing. I lived with my brother-in-law and my nephew and uh, a few kids in the neighborhood was talking to my nephew about it, but uh, there wasn't really nothing said about it. They just, you know, wanted to know what the uh, cards were for. And, there was no, you know. nobody was angry, nobody threatened you, nothing like that happened to you? No, not really. Okay. I want to ask Wilbur a question. He has a daughter, and she was once small. What would his reaction have been if someone had done something similar or worse to his daughter? I'd have been very angry. Then you know how everybody else feels. The families are your victims. But, but your family's a victim too. How many victims they're all does this guy suffering. have? He has his family are victims because of the crime he committed. Everyone around him, relatives, they're all victims. This man has caused numerous victims, not just the two so girls. So you tell me that this guy's numerous. not going to be doing uh, time for the rest of his life? Hey, I have no sympathy well, for him. No, I have no sympathy for him. Maybe None. he's not asking for sympathy, but, but he's not asking for a sign time. on his back. The child is doing time for the rest of their life, too. That's he's right. The scars are there, too. I, I agree with that. We're all human beings. Yeah. We're all human beings. Well, why, why do you and, have and to and be And if you don't accept the that, then with, with how humane are you and how compassionate think, are you? What, what about society? I think the feeling is we all live in it and we have to come up with creative solutions. This is what they're using to deter. And if this is the only means of a reliable deterrence and an offense, or in a disease that isn't treatable, then I, I'm going for it. When, when I, I want to go back to something you said, Chris, earlier about the fact that people like Wilfred have a monkey on their back. Is he a repeat offender? No, this I th he, no this oh. is a one-time offense. This is a one-time. People, sex offenders and, and pedophiles have put that monkey on their back. Sure. These children were the innocent victims. They never put a monkey on their back. The monkey was put on the back for them by the sex offenders Absolutely. When, when, let Many me just of the say sex offenders were were assaulted as kids themselves. Oh, that is oh, that is true. true. No, no. And that happened. That, that, that is that is true. That is really that is true. true. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Chris's okay. case, How Chris will you tell you that that's what happened to him. That's right, what Chris? happened to me. Listen, I, when when I was when I was young, my my older brother, I had to share a bed with him. So he abused me. Right. And I became a hey, thank you very much. Huh? He said you didn't abuse her. Abuse he her. said you didn't even touch her. What are you He's talking, talking about? He said you didn't rape her. What are you talking about? So why are you defending that? I'm not defending that. I just finished saying that when I was small and I had to share a bed with my brother, he abused me. No, I know, but you said earlier that you didn't even rape her. So why would say, you even I didn't make say an that excuse I didn't, for something I didn't you didn't say do? That, I didn't say that I didn't touch her. We were both... Well, I didn't say that, you got no, no, for rape, let's roll something back here. I didn't her. say that I did not touch her. I well, said, 
What I said what was... What did you say, Chris? Okay. What, what I said was, I didn't have sex. That's what I said. So why are you making an excuse for something that didn't go on? And I, I hold it. It's not because I, I was convicted, and I and I don't have no qualms about that. The thing that I was saying was, it's because I frightened her so much. But n b besides all that, I was convicted, I and I and I did the time. I don't think there's ever a legitimate excuse. Well, am I going to answer he's this not, or what? He's not making so excuses. Want, let me go to Leslie for just a moment. Leslie, you're 18 years old, and you you were there when your father was sending out these postcards had to put this ad in the paper to say he was a sex offender. Uh, what do you think about this law and what it's done to you and your dad? Because I understand, although your father told me just now, that it hasn't really been bothersome to him. I understand you've had to move a few times because people found out. I think it's stupid. I mean, if a person's innocent, I know my father's innocent, and I don't care what anybody says. I know he's innocent. He never tried nothing with me. I don't care what anybody says. What about for, I use, all right, I'm certainly, I'm not gonna argue with you about your father's innocence or his guilt, but he has been convicted. And what I wanna know is, do you think that people like this, who do do this kind of thing, should be allowed to move in a neighborhood without telling people? I can understand if they were guilty, but not innocent. And your father is innocent. You believe. I know he is innocent. I understand repeat offenders. I got it. Sorry, Chris, I have to take a break here. Okay. Back in just a moment. <laughs>